is so not a product that I would normally pick up. I will be 100% honest with you, but. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am especially excited about this video. I know I always say I'm excited about my videos because I genuinely am every time I sit down to film. However, this one really excites me because I'm finally trying Fenty Beauty. Look at this. Look at this box that I have. All right, so Fenty actually sent me the eyeshadow palette, a couple lipsticks, and the eyeshadow primer. That was a while ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me unbox it. It was kind of a long time ago, and I have not touched it because I wanted to try it, but I didn't know like how to try it on my channel. I didn't know like where to put it in or like what video to film with it. And then I was like, you know what? I don't wanna try this until I try the foundation and the primer. So I went on Sephora and I did a major haul and I kind of completed my collection. So we're gonna try out everything today and I'm so excited we're gonna do a wear test and see how everything works. A lot of you guys have actually recommended the matte foundation for me because I tend to like full coverage matte finishes and I've had so many comments like, try the Fenty foundation, try the Fenty foundation. So I'm excited to play around with this and then all the other products as well. Here's the before and after so you guys can see the makeup look and then obviously we'll do a check-in at the end of the day so you can see how everything wore and let's get right into it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the eyes. I already did my brows. I used the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil. Did any of you guys watch the video on Nikki Tutorials channel where Priscilla Ono did her makeup, which is Rihanna's makeup artist? I watched that and I absolutely loved it. I watched it so many times and so there were certain ways that she used certain products and I'm going to try to remember what she did exactly so I can use them properly. I'm going to take a little bit of the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation and I'm going to use that as a base on my eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of put this all over the eyelid and then I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Sponge which looks like this and I'm just going to blend that out all over the eyelid. So next I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. The packaging is so pretty on this and I'm just going to apply this to the lid right over top of the foundation and I'm just going to use my finger with this to blend it out all over the lid. So I'm aware that Fenty Beauty is not a new new brand. It's pretty new I guess as far as makeup goes in general but there have been so many reviews out there on it. There's been so many products that have been released and I can't believe that I haven't tried anything. The only thing I've tried from them is the gloss bomb, the original gloss bomb and I picked up the diamond milk which was the new shade that came out. Anyway, I'm just excited to try it finally. It has been a long time coming. All right, so while I let that dry a little bit, I'm gonna open the eyeshadow palette, which I'm so excited about. This is the Moroccan Spice palette. I have opened this and gazed at it so many times, but I have yet to put it on my eyes. I mean, hello, look at this packaging. I think that is so stunning. I think Fenty's packaging is incredible. All right, so here's the eyeshadow palette. Here, I'll show you up close. This is what it looks like. I'm really excited to dip into this. I think I'm gonna start out with this peachy shade right here. And I didn't set the eyeshadow primer because I don't think you're supposed to. If I'm understanding that right, I don't know. We're just gonna try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this shade into the crease kind of as our transition shade. The primer left my eyelids pretty tacky, so I feel like the eyeshadow is gripping onto the primer really nicely. I'm just making sure to blend that out toward the edge of the brow. I was worried that not setting the primer would make the eyeshadow kind of skip, but it's not. It's actually blending pretty nicely. There's a little bit of kickback in this pan with this particular shade, but there's not really fallout underneath my eyes with it. Oh, by the way, this shade is called Quicksand. If you're wondering, I don't think I told you the shade, so that's what it's called. I think I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is called Fez Up, and I'm gonna start to work that on the outer portion of the lid. I just feel like those two colors kind of go together really nicely. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. The colors in this palette are really, really beautiful. I feel like you get enough neutral shades, but then there's some that are different enough where you feel like you can create some really unique looks. There's blues, there's silvers, there's pinks, golds. I'm really into the color selection. I'm kind of obsessed with this purple. I don't think I've ever worn a purple eyeshadow quite like this. It's like a deep eggplant almost. It's so pretty. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is called Sahara Stunner, and I want this in this inner portion here. I'm gonna kind of create a little bit of a cut crease in this inner portion. Nothing too harsh, just something to kind of define that area a little bit. All right, I'm taking this shade right here on my finger. This is called Mirage, and I really am wanting a little more gold, I feel like, on the lid. So I'm adding that with my finger, and I just feel like that looks a little better, and I feel like it just goes well with the pink and purple. I'm taking the brush that we were using with the dark purple shade. I didn't 
didn't add any more eyeshadow on it, but I'm just kind of buffing that back over the outer corners and into the crease slightly. I'm also taking what's left on the brush that we used in the transition and just kind of buffing everything out, making sure everything fades nicely into the skin. So I also picked up the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, which is the liquid eyeliner. It's just a black and we're gonna use this today. Ooh, here's the packaging on it. It's a nice triangle shaped applicator. So I feel like it's gonna be really nice to hold in my hand. All right, let's go ahead and apply this to the top lash line. I don't like a very thick line on my top lash line because I don't have too much lid space when my eyes are open. So I like to keep it pretty thin to still get that definition, but I don't want it to close off my eyes. It's gliding on really nicely. I wonder if it dries down matte or if it has more of a shiny finish. I guess we'll find out in a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up any fallout that we have under the eyes. There really isn't that much fallout at all. And I'm just gonna make sure to create a nice edge right here. And then I'm gonna apply mascara. Fenty doesn't have a mascara, so I'm just gonna use the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And I'm gonna do about two coats to just the top lashes for now. My lashes are a little mangled right now because I've been pre-filming so many videos. This is the last one that I have to do before I leave and travel for seriously like a month straight. So I've been filming like back-to-back -back tutorials and my poor lashes, they're struggling a little today. <laughs> All right, so now that we have mascara on, we're gonna move on to the face. Let me make sure I've got everything. I bought the foundation brush, the full bodied foundation brush, which looks like this. I'm really intrigued by it. I wanna see if it's any good. I also bought the foundation and then I have the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So here's the primer, here's the foundation. We're gonna start with the primer. This is supposed to smooth the face. It has a pore diffusing finish and it is supposed to extend your makeup wear. So let's give this a whirl. I'm not really sure how much to use. In the Nikki tutorials video, she used the foundation brush with the primer. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get a little bit of that on my hand and smooth this all over the face. It smells interesting. It has like a scent to it. The brush actually is pretty nice so far. Just making sure to spread the primer everywhere. All right, so right now, I mean, I can't really see any difference in my skin. So we'll have to see what it looks like when we put the foundation on. I got the shade 150. I was reading reviews on Sephora and it said that this oxidized a little bit. So I'm hoping that this shade will work. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize too much. I ordered this online, so. <laughs> I pumped about two pumps on the back of my hand and I'm taking the brush and I'm gonna start to apply this all over the face. And I'm gonna do one half of my face at a time. I feel like right now the shade is perfect. Hopefully it doesn't change too much. It has that same scent as the primer. I don't know if I like the scent. So I'm just layering up coverage on this half of my face first. Definitely has a matte finish like it claims. The coverage is very buildable, it seems like. I mean, that looks really nice. A little half and half for you. So here's the side with foundation, here's the side without foundation. It looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of the face. And this brush is actually working really well. I feel like people have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. I've heard so many incredible things about it and then some people just absolutely despise it. So, so far, my first impressions, I like how it looks right now. We'll obviously have to see how it wears. I'm gonna make sure to blend it down the neck. And then I'm gonna take what's left on the back of my hand on the sponge. And I'm going to use the sponge over top because that's usually how I like to finish my foundation is with a sponge, no matter what foundation it is. I love to apply it with a brush and then press it in with a sponge. So I bought this set called the Matchstick Trio on Sephora and it has three matchsticks. It has a concealer shade, a contour shade, and I think like a blush or illuminating highlighter. Yeah, conceal, contour, and highlight. So these are the sticks that magnet together, which I think are so cool. I love the packaging on this. We're gonna go ahead and take the shade Linen, which is a lighter shade, and I watched Nikki Tutorial's video and Priscilla warmed it up on her hand first and then she applied it. So I'm copying that. I'm gonna use this underneath the eyes. I'm gonna use the sponge to press it out. The sponge is actually really nice too. I like the consistency of it. I'm also applying it down the center of the face. And I'm gonna blend that out with the sponge as well. All right, so the matchstick is blended out. I feel like it's nice. It's kind of harder to work with than like a typical concealer. I'm just taking a little bit more of the foundation and I wanna take some on my sponge. And I'm gonna kind of spot conceal with this just over the blemishes that need extra love today. All right, so the next matchstick I wanna use is the one in the shade Amber. This is like a contour shade. So I'm gonna warm it up on my hand as well. It's very gray. Hopefully this looks okay. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm just gonna take the same foundation brush because it has a little bit of foundation on it still. So maybe it won't be as harsh of a contour. I'm just gonna use this really softly underneath the cheeks. 
It's very gray, like super. I don't know if I love this. I'm just gonna press the sponge on top of it. I mean, it obviously is a good shade for contour. I'll definitely need to use a bronzer and I didn't buy a bronzer, so I'll have to use something that I've got. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this around the forehead. Maybe we'll use a little down the sides of the nose. The thing about this matchstick set is it's actually in the shade light. You can buy three different shades, light, medium, deep, and it has like recommended matchstick shades for you. So if I were to select one myself, I probably would choose something a little more warm for my skin tone, but I mean, it contours. It definitely chisels my face. I just need something more warm on top of it. All right, so the last matchstick is this highlighter, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this today because I have other highlighters. Here's what it looks like though. It's pretty, but I don't think I'm gonna be using the highlighter. I'll have to try that later because I just wanna use the other ones. That's what we've got so far. Okay, I need the Invisimat blotting powder, and I'm gonna use this to set the face. She doesn't have like a loose setting powder, so we're just gonna go with it. This packaging is so cool. Here's what it looks like. You open it up and it's just got the powder inside and then a little blotting pad with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip a small brush in here. I wanna make sure that there's no creases under the eyes and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of press that into the skin under the eye. Then I'm gonna take a bigger brush and just kind of pat it in the T-zone mainly. And I'm just gonna lightly dust it over the cheeks because I don't really want these blemishes to lose coverage throughout the day. I feel like everything looks pretty nice. Um, the under eye area looks a little bit makeup-y to me, but other than that, I feel like the complexion looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into this palette and we're gonna dip into that first pink shade called Quick Sand. Tap off the extra on a brush and I'm going to blend this out under the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna dip into the deep purple that we used out here called Fez Up, and I'm gonna use this along the lower lash line. I love this color. And I'm kind of connecting it to the existing shades here so that there's kind of like this triangle going up from the lower lash line and connecting with the shades up here. Then I'm gonna dip into that bronzy shade called Mirage. I'm gonna run that in the inner portion right about here. And then I'm just gonna add some mascara to the lower lashes. For bronzer, I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs bronzer that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. It's the one that everybody raved about. It was like limited edition and now it's a permanent item. And as soon as I found out it was permanent, I picked it up. It's the Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan Bronzer. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I wanna warm up the skin a little bit. I love how large this pan is. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit just to the perimeters of the face along the jawline and down the neck. I'm gonna pinch the brush and just run it down the side of the nose, underneath the nose and a little bit under the lip. Next, I'm just gonna take a pink blush. I'm gonna use a shade in this NARS palette. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's kind of more of a peachy pink. I feel like it will match really nicely with the eyes. I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of the cheeks. Alrighty, so for highlighter, yay! I'm excited for this part. I got two highlighters because one of them like seems like a more realistic one to wear on a daily basis. The other one is just fun and I am dying to try it. So the first one I picked up was the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo and I got the shades Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Look how pretty, I'm so excited about this. So we're gonna use this one first. I think I'm gonna go into this one right here called Lightning Dust, which is a little bit more of a soft highlight, it looks like. And I'm gonna start to work this onto the cheekbones, basically the high points of the face. Oh, this is my kind of highlight, people. Oh my gosh, do you see how it's like buildable and it's not chunky? That's what I love for an everyday basis. Ooh. I'm gonna take it up around the forehead. Let's do this one down the center of the nose as well. I think it's gonna be perfect for that. This is so pretty. And then on the cupid's bow, it seemed to remove a little bit of the foundation on my nose. See that? You can kind of see the line, darn it. All right, let's put a little bit of the second shade, which is a little bit more intense, it seems like. Wow, yes, <laughs> much more intense. I'm just going to apply that right to the very high points of just the cheekbones. Wow, so that's that highlighter. I am gonna add a little bit of the next one. And this is so like not like me to buy a product like this, but when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It's the Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil, and it's like basically, it's in the shade How Many Carrots. It's basically just a bunch of glitter. And I usually don't like glitter all over my face, but for some reason, I just have to try this. Look how pretty that packaging is. And here is the actual product. I don't know if you can even see how shiny it is on camera. Can you see that? Uh, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take a highlighting brush and dip into this. Ooh, and let's see. I'm just going to add this. <gasps> but it's so pretty. I'm just gonna add this to the cheeks. Wow. 
oh, this is just like fairy dust. Oh my gosh. I feel so expensive. Oh my gosh. This is such a fun product to have <gasps> for like the holidays, little Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? This is so not a product that I would normally pick up. I will be 100% honest with you, but oh no, I got some glitter under the eyes. I don't want that. I'm just gonna try to dust that away. Oh, now my whole face is glittery. Oh well, <laughs> that is really pretty. <laughs> wow. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna use this in the inner corner of the eye. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? I think it would. Let's try this diamond powder in the inner corner. I think yes. Oh my gosh. I'm taking it up on the lid slightly, but it's mainly gonna be focused in this inner corner. Oh my word. And I'm gonna go back into the uh, kilowatt highlighter for the brow bone. I'm just gonna use this one. So the diamond one is definitely more of a special occasion kind of highlight for me. And this one is so pretty for every day. All right, let's remove the foundation off the lips. And of course I wasn't able to choose just one lipstick. So Fenty actually sent me two of their Mademoiselle plush matte lipsticks. I don't think I want to use either of these today just because of the shades So I'm gonna use those in another video um, I want to quickly try though the diamond milk gloss and then I picked up two of the Senna lip paints I've been dying to try out this formula She only had a red one for the longest time and I never had a chance to try it and then she released new shades And so I picked up two of the nudes, but we're gonna try the gloss bomb first just to see how this looks I love the original gloss bomb. So let's see what this looks like that is so pretty. It has the exact same smell as the original. So I'm assuming it's the exact same formula, just a different color. That is so beautiful. It has silver glitter in it. I feel like this would be something you could definitely wear every day, just like the other one. I wear this all the time. It's one of my favorite glosses, especially to travel with. And I feel like this is another great option because it doesn't tint your lips. It just gives it that gorgeous sparkle. I really like how that looks. But I think for this wear test, I wanna use one of the Stunna lip paints. And I'm so excited about these. The packaging, I'm telling you, wow. So here's the first one. I got the peachy nude. This is called Unbutton. I feel like that could be really pretty, but I think I want to wear this one, which is called Uncuffed. It's the more rosy color, which I think will match really nicely with the purples on the eyes. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is the one we're going to use. Look at this. Ah! I mean, if this isn't the most beautiful packaging you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Mm, it seems pretty liquidy. I'm just going to shake it really quick. Whoa, the formula is pretty runny looking. Here's the applicator. So unique. I've only seen this on Instagram and I'm so excited to try it. Let's put it on the lips. Whoa, it's such a runny formula. I wasn't really expecting that. All right, so I'm just kind of waiting for that to dry. It's such a pretty color. I feel like my eyebrows have disappeared. So I'm going to go ahead and touch them up a little bit. I'm just going to set the brows with the color Pop Clear Brow Boss Gel. And I think that's it. The liquid lipstick feels really comfortable on the lips right now. I'm interested to see how long this lasts exactly. I'm gonna take my bronzer brush and just kind of add a little more. And you guys know that I usually do like a three-step setting routine. I don't think I'm going to because I really wanna see how all the Fenty products work together since I'm wearing so much of it. So we're gonna do a wear test. It's currently 4.30 p.m. or 4.27, I rounded up. And I'm gonna wear this throughout the night and I will do a check-in to show you guys how everything wears. And then I'll do a little bit of a review, an overview on the products that I feel like might be worth it. I know I tried out a ton of new things. So I'll definitely be sure to let you know what things I feel like are the best at the end. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, you guys, I'm back. It is currently 12.28. So that means I've had this foundation on for I think around eight hours, right? Off of my first impressions, I'm looking a lot more dewy than I would have liked. With that being said, there's not that much like separation going on. And I actually have noticed that the foundation on like the nose, except for the edges here where I think I probably touched my face, the foundation has stayed on really nicely. Really quickly so we can just see the difference. Here is the before and after. I feel like sometimes it's good to see a side-by-side -side comparison from eight hours ago till now so here it is the lip color I didn't touch up once and I have eaten over the past eight hours so it's actually like pretty impressive that it's still on there it doesn't look like the prettiest anymore but you know it's been on for a long time so I just want to kind of see really quickly what it would look like if I were to touch up with the Invisimat blotting powder because if I'm honest like if I were to have seen any foundation that I'm wearing kind of get oily throughout the day I would have blotted so let's see what this does oh wow comes with a little pad thing. Maybe I'll try this out. Just press it. Oh, I'm just putting it around my T-zone. Well, that blotting powder took away the shine so quick. Wow. Now it looks like 
back to normal. How crazy. All right, let's do a quick little overview and review, starting with complexion products, the primer and the foundation. I mean, I feel like it's really kind of stuck to my skin for eight hours, but I don't know if it's like my favorite complexion that I've ever applied to my face. For some reason, mattifying products tend to make my skin a little bit more oily. I mean, obviously now it looks nice and refreshed from that powder, but again, I'm not sure if it's like the best foundation I've ever tried, but I do feel like it looks nice and it wore on my face really nicely. It didn't budge, which I felt like was a great feature, I guess, of the foundation. I'm not sure how the primer worked with it. I'm not sure if it made it better or worse since this is my first time playing with it. Maybe I'll have to try the primer with a different foundation and see if it really helps with longevity. I'll have to use it with a foundation I'm super familiar with. Okay, the match sticks. These are products that I don't think I will continue to use just because as a concealer, it wasn't my favorite. I have other concealers that I like for my under eye area that look a lot better. And then the contour shade was just a little bit too grayish for me. When I use a cream contour stick, I usually like to have a little bit more warmth to it so I can use it to contour and kind of bronze a little bit. So I really don't think I'll get much use out of these. I'll probably end up returning them actually because it was pretty expensive, even for the three of them. This set was like 50 bucks and I just don't think that it was worth it for me. I don't think that I'll get very much use out of this. Oh, the sponge I felt like was a nice sponge. You know, I still think that my Thrive Cosmetics one is my favorite. I believe they're the same price and if I had to choose one I would still go with the Thrive one. I just personally like the shape of this better than this. Even though it has a flat side to it, this kind of flattened top doesn't do much for me. I'd rather have the pointed tip to get into this under corner. I felt like it was a little difficult with this one. So it wasn't a bad sponge. I just think that I like other ones more. Okay, the highlighters. Yes, yes, yes. I think that this was so beautiful. I'm very excited to continue to use these. I just feel like this to me was a very memorable product. It's something that I'm gonna continue to reach for. And the diamond balm, oh my gosh. I know it's something that maybe I wouldn't use every single day, but I have to be honest. I think this is what I'm the most excited about just because it's so different. It's again, very memorable and it's so pretty. And with the holidays coming up, I feel like I'm gonna actually use it quite a bit just to kind of add a little bit of glitz to my makeup looks. You can use this in different ways. You can put it on the body if you want to. You can use it on the high points of the face and you can also use it on the eyelid or in the inner corner like I did. So I'm going to be keeping this. I think it's gorgeous and I'm also going to continue to use this kilowatt highlighter. I think it's so pretty. Oh, the eyeliner. Well, it stayed on. I don't really wear eyeliner that much so I don't know if it's going to be something that I will reach for. I don't think it's a bad eyeliner. I just don't know if it's like my favorite. You you know, I think the applicator was really nice. It was really easy to put on and the packaging is nice, but I just don't know personally if it's something that I would like recommend or tell you to go out and buy because I don't really wear eyeliner that much. And when I do, it's a pencil eyeliner. I rarely wear liquid liner. I don't know why, I just don't anymore. The foundation brush, I feel like it was actually a nice brush. I liked how it applied the foundation. There wasn't any brush streaks with it. So I do think that I will continue to use this brush. Plus the design is really pretty. I don't know, I think it was a nice brush to use with the foundation. I think it did work well with that foundation. The eyeshadow palette. 10 out of 10 for packaging. I mean, everything that Fenty has released, I feel like they just do such a good job with the packaging. This eyeshadow palette really is so gorgeous. I feel like it's great for travel. You get so many different options in here, yet it's very wearable in my opinion. I feel like you can actually kind of play with color, but they're colors that are still really wearable. So I do feel like I'll be able to use all the shades in that palette. And also, I was surprisingly surprised by the, surprisingly surprised, I was impressed by the eye primer. I felt like it actually made my eyeshadows last a very long time. The lower lash line where I hadn't applied the primer kind of faded actually compared to the top lid. So I liked that combo and I'm excited to play around with that eyeshadow primer with other eyeshadows to see what happens. What's left here? Ooh, the Diamond Balm. Love this. I'm gonna get so much use out of this, I feel like, because I already know I love this gloss. So I'm very excited about the Diamond Milk. Did I say Diamond Bomb? It's called Diamond Milk. I think it's really gorgeous. And I'm also very excited about the Stena lip paints. Out of it all, because I know that I talked about so many things, the things that like make my heart flutter as of now are the glosses. So I would say if you haven't tried anything, try the glosses. And I'm also very excited about this liquid lipstick. I can't wait to try this peachy shade. I just think they're beautiful. And I can't wait to just like display them on my vanity. 
vanity because they're that pretty. Also, I feel like the highlighters, those three things, like the gloss, the lip paints, and then these highlighters, I feel like are incredible. If you're somebody who loves makeup and you collect things, then maybe you would really enjoy the Moroccan Spice palette. I think it's stunning. It's obviously more pricey than the other products I mentioned, so it would be more of an investment. Is it a need? I don't know if it's like a need, but if you're somebody who likes makeup and you just think it's pretty and you think you would be inspired by these colors, then I would say go for it. I would recommend it. But again, the gloss, the lip paint, and the highlighters. Those are the things that really stuck out to me today. Oh, the Invisimat blotting powder. You know what? I feel like it did a great job at blotting my face. So I feel like this is a great little in your bag type of product. I tend to carry things like this in my purse. I always have like a little powder of some sort because if I'm traveling or if I'm at an event, that's the one thing that I always like to do is just kind of blot the oils. So I'm excited to throw this in my purse and see how it works with other foundations. So I'll continue to try that. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely had so much fun finally trying Fenty Beauty. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have tried from Fenty. Do you like this brand? If so, what do you like? Have you tried the foundation and what are your thoughts? I always love to hear your opinions. So let me know in the comments below. Also, if there's a brand that I haven't tried yet that you think I should try, leave that in the comments down below because I would love to test out an entire brand kind of like this. So let me know if there's another brand that I need to know about and I need to try. Thank you guys for always coming back to my channel and for watching my videos. If you're new here, my name is Allie and I would love to have you be a part of the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and after you subscribe, if you want to be notified, click on the bell and you'll get a notification on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I upload my videos. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!